Hey guys, Clint here, former cop. I used to be a cop. I'm not a cop anymore, and that makes me retired. Good to be here tonight. Thanks for watching. The wife is... The whole family, the wife and the kids, they went to Victoria tonight, and it's just me home alone, and it's really terrible. It's a terrible... I'm really sad. It. Uh, I don't think this has ever happened in my entire life. And I'm kidding. It's... God, it feels good. It just feels good. You know what I mean? Like it feels good. Guys, I'm on Spotify now. Okay, I know. Add me on Spotify. I'm going to put a link down in the description the description box there. My Spotify account. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're laying around in depot. And you want to listen to me. I don't know why you would. But maybe you do. Maybe you're running around depot. I wasn't going to talk about depot. I don't I have no idea why I just brought it up, but maybe you want to listen to something. Maybe I'll say something one day that makes sense. And yeah, when you go for those dumb jogs that you have to do, put in your earbuds, listen to me, turn me on. <laughs> and uh, oh my God, I feel for you guys right now in depot. It changes every day. I don't even know what's going on in Depot right now, but I'm pretty sure that it's closed down. You can't leave on the weekends. I couldn't imagine not being able to be at Depot right now and not being able to leave for the weekend. Like the testosterone that is running rampant in Depot right now. Must be a lot of warm toilet seats in Depot. Oh my God, you guys, I don't know how you're doing it. I don't know how you're doing it. And the moment they're going to open it up, the moment you can leave, oh, there's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of cheating. Depot's tough. It's tough. It's tough being in Depot, being locked up in Depot. The only thing I look forward to when I was in Depot was the weekend. I rented a car. I went to McDonald's on Dudney. I don't even know if that's really a street but I think it is. The glass of McDonald's was disgusting. There was fingerprints all over it. I didn't care. I'd get a number five with my rental car. I'd go to the Quality Inn for 39 bucks a night. I upgraded to $49 a night for the penthouse suite. And the weekends were the best thing ever at Depot. But what are you doing now? Like, are people getting kicked out of Depot right now for doing bad things? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing on the weekend? It must be hell. It must be hell. No, I don't want to watch a movie with you. It's movie night. No. No. I don't want to go on a patrol ride with you. I don't even know what they, they call it anymore. You look too good. Like, the amount of love that is floating around Depot right now must be through the roof. Through the roof. I don't know why I said that. I'm just, I have nightmares every now and then that I, I got to go back to depot. Okay. I'm on Facebook. Add me on Facebook. Look at the description in the, I got like five friends. I created a new Facebook account. I'm on Twitter too. Big deal. I don't even know what, I don't even know how to tweet. Really? I'm trying. I tried to tweet today. I don't know if I did it right, but yeah, add me, add me and, oh, do you guys know how to polish? This is so dumb. I want a couple of dudes here that know how to polish, and we're going to polish our shit. I want to polish my boots. I don't know if you can see them. I want to polish my belt. I forgot how to polish. I want to do a polishing. It doesn't even have to be dudes. It could be girls. Chicks. With long hair. No. No. I got to edit that out. It could be chicks, and why wouldn't it be? If you guys, the people that know how to polish are straight out of depot, but maybe you're a, you can be a city cop. You can be a RCMP cop. You could be straight out of depot. Can you contact me? Let's polish some stuff the right way. Why am I talking? Let's polish some stuff the right way. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I just want to polish stuff. I want to do a polishing video. 
I got the heat guns. So, so contact me. And we'll, we'll do it right here. Right on this table, we'll have some drinks, have some beers. And I don't care if you got one month service. I, I, I don't care who you are. I don't. I don't care who you are. I'm looking at my computer because I wrote some things down. Okay, so settle down. Okay. And it says stocks. And I don't know if I want to get into this. By the way, I'm going to show you the best video I've ever seen in my entire life. It's 10 seconds long in a little bit. It's positive, believe it or not. This story is kind of personal. I don't know if you should talk about it. Because it's not even that entertaining. Stocks. Do you remember? Do you remember when I said this? It's scary that he might be president. But if he is, let me tell you something. And I shouldn't shouldn't say this, but I'm going to make a prediction. But I don't want you buying any stocks, okay? If they be, if he becomes president, Canadian marijuana stocks are going to go through the roof. I think strongly. Afira. Aurora, Tilray, stocks like that are going to go through the roof. Why? Because they want to legal, legalize marijuana in America. And once that happens, those stocks are going to go through the roof. Well, I ended up, in October, I ended up before the election, I bought, I actually bought Tilray and Afira, Af- Afria, whatever it's called. I bought a lot of Afria. I bought it at like five bucks, four ninety seven or something like that. They were both pretty. I didn't buy ACB, Aurora. Anyways, so these stocks, they... Biden becomes the president and these stocks skyrocket. They skyrocket. Well, I don't know. Is that really... They go to 20, okay? They go to 20, 25. Is that skyrocketing? And don't listen to me about... I don't want anybody buying stocks. Don't listen to my advice. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't have a clue. I honestly, I don't. But it just so happened that marijuana stocks took off. Americans are buying them up. So I'm watching my Tilray. Okay. It's at 30. It's at 30. And the Wall Street Bets, guys, I don't know if you've heard of these people, but it's a Reddit group. And they, they jumped on Tilray. And then overnight, in a day, Tilray shot from 30 to 70. And then I showed my woman the bank account. Uh, it was good news. And I told her how I was going to buy a Cybertruck. She said I couldn't. I'm like, I'm making the money. Like, you didn't make the money. What are you talking about? You bought an iron and a washing machine and a dishwasher and a fridge. I'm buying a Cybertruck. And she says to me, this is so dumb. She says to me, you need to sell some, Clint. You need to sell some, okay? And I'm like, it's at 70. Like, it might go to 140 tomorrow. It might go to 300. And she says to me, you don't even know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you see how much money I just made the house? I don't know what I'm doing. The next day I lost 40 grand. Anyways, I'm in there for the long haul. and You know why I lost the money, right? You know this Kramer guy? His name's Kramer. He does all these stocks. He's an idiot. James, that's a state. Okay, how about Brian in Connecticut? Brian. Oh, booyah. Booyah. The old booyah. man grew booyah. Including a dog, I think. The guy's an idiot. Has he ever made you a penny? Honestly, honestly. The night before, it was going to go through the roof. It was going to go through the roof the next day. Kramer goes on TV. Tells everybody to sell. Oh, my God. Moron. I want to show you something, okay? This is this is news. Okay. I'm not going to show you my address, but 
I get mail. I get mail from the RCMP. I haven't opened it, but I I know what it is. And I'm going to look pretty stupid if if I'm wrong. It's, it's actually kind of thick this time. I get and it's a bit of a you see this little stamp here? You see you see that little stamp, the RCMP stamp? That's a trigger. When I see that <laughs> when it comes in the mail, I'm like, what did I do wrong? I didn't mean to do that in Williams Lake, okay? It's another story I'll tell another day, but I have gotten over two hundred of what's in here. Two hundred of these. Since two oh seven. Year two thousand and seven, I've got two hundred. They want money. The RCMP wants money. It's a bill. Like they think I'm going to pay it. Do you know how much money it's cost them to send me this? Once a month? Once a month I get this. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm in Lang... No, I'm in Duncan, 2007. And... I spent, they said I spent an extra day at the Best Western. And I owe them for that extra day because I submitted my claim and they paid me for that claim for my, when you get, when you transfer, they give you all this money when you sell your house and you're in between. Okay. They pay you back incidentals. And they said, I claimed too many days at the Best Western. Well, I didn't, but they say I did. And they want, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, really? I don't even know if you can see that. They want $156 from me. And they've been trying to get it from me since 2007. The amount of voluntary overtime that I have given the RCMP. I was, my first three years of my, my career, Every single day, almost every single day, I'm not exaggerating, on my day off, I was in the office working on my files. And they want a hundred, you owe me money. Do you know how much money you owe me? I paid for my transfer to Port Alberni. You told me Port Alberni was desirable. You wouldn't transfer me. You wouldn't pay for a transfer for me to go to Port Alberni. So I made it a no cost move. Do you know how much money that cost me? Desirable. I like Port Alberni, but really, do you want to work here? I don't think one person right now is going, yeah. And staffing tells me it's desirable. Did you know we had a couple in Port Alberni, and I shouldn't tell this story, but when I was working in Port Alberni, a couple said they would go to Port Alberni. They came to Port Alberni, and they went on their house hunting trip. Guess what happened the next day? No, no, we're not going to Port Alberni. They canceled it. They canceled the transfer to Port Alberni. What? It's desirable. Yeah, you liar. You're a liar. Okay, hey, let's talk about something positive. This is honest to God, I swear to you. The most... It's the best video on the internet right now. And I'm going to show it to you. You got to see it. You got to see it. If I can find it. It's called Logan's Very First Play Date. And don't tell me you've already seen it. Watch this. Yeah. He's on phone with who? Mom. He's okay. mom. What's, what's he asking? If he can stay for an hour. Oh. She said yes. <gasps> no! Love you, Mom. Let's stick it up. What are y'all gonna do? We're gonna hang out, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna hit help this man finish Miles Morales. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Let I'm me let you in. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> what are y'all gonna do? We're gonna hang out, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit help this man finish Miles Morales. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. If that doesn't make you a little moist in the eyes, then, oh my God, you got to check yourself. It's time you retire if that doesn't make you. 
I mean, the pure excitement, the happiness. Ugh. Love that video. I'm getting mushy, but let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. What's he say about the baby? What's he say? Let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. What are y'all going to do? We're going to hang out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hang out, baby. I love it. That almost made my day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's kick it off. What are y'all going to do? What are y'all going to do? Wish I could talk like that. What are you all going to do? I didn't prepare for this. Really? Who's messaging me? I don't get messages. Who is it? It's my brother. Juanita just got home. We're hanging in the garage. Well, I might come over. <laughs> I can do whatever I want tonight. I love it. Um, I didn't prepare for this. And I don't really know what I'm about to say. But do you know about these people, these auditors? They, they, they get uh, video cameras, they get their phone, and they go up to police, and they want police to say something that they don't like. And they bait them into saying something. They bait them into arresting them. And they're just real, like, a bothersome. They're an annoyance. Weird being a cop right now, guys. Every time you show up anywhere, immediately a video camera is on you. It's on you. And you can't act yourself. You feel like you can't act yourself. Everything you do is videotaped now. Everything. Oh, don't do that. Oh, and any I'm filming them. this. Oh. I'm filming this. You're being filmed. You're being filmed. I filmed it. That's what I did. They did not need to kick him like that. I filmed that. I filmed it. I I filmed the criminal being arrested. I filmed you saving our community. Idiot. Anyways, I can't stand watching these videos where people run up to police officers. And now I'm talking about it. Now I'm talking about it, and I probably shouldn't be talking about it because it gives them credit, but I've been watching Duncan lately. Duncan Office. Do you see what's going on at Duncan? They got these crazy people showing up at Duncan? Filming them? <laughs> or are they just... This wingnut. They're wingnuts. This wingnut just shows up out of nowhere. I, 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 I got to talk about it. I'm just going to show you a little bit of it, okay? I, I'm going to tell you what you need to do, cops. When this happens, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Just watch this idiot. Watch these, these idiots. Dumbass. You guys are the fucking, were they tyrants? How about you? You got anything clever to say? Extortionist. Oh, you have a YouTube channel too? Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see it. Oh, look how pretty they are in their uniforms. Does it smell like bacon? Oh, you have a YouTube channel too? Yeah, we do. See, the thing is, cops don't really care about it, okay? They, d they really don't. But civilians do. I'm a civilian now. Now that I'm not a cop, God, I wish I was a cop. The, how I would deal with this right now, it makes me angry now. Now that I'm not a police officer, this makes me angry. I smell real rotten bacon. These are the real fucking criminals of society right here. Royally corrupt murderous pigs. Chicken shit. Let's see if I can get a badge number out of this. Hello. Did you guys see anyone from their homes today? Hey guys, doing? Did I'm you pretty see good. Anyone from their homes today? They help you? Did you steal anyone from their homes today? Can you speak a little louder? Did you steal anyone from their homes? Did you steal anybody from their homes? Yes. Have you anybody from their home? No, have you? Oh, we're not the kidnappers. You guys are the ones who kidnapped me when I was two just because you guys were told to and yeah, took. You guys should work on, you know, one talk at a time. 
Oh, I'm pretty, pretty sure you can hear us. I like your assault rifle. You bring it out all the time just because you're thinking Because Canada is so dangerous. Yeah, you can't put them down with your own arms. You're not trained well enough. Oh yeah, we're going we're to guys. We're guys. Okay. If I'm that cop. Okay, so what happened was in Beverly Hills, this police officer gets one of these guys coming into the office, goes into their office, like the office is open, walks right into the front counter. And the cop, he starts playing music. The cop starts playing music. I'm like, that's genius. Genius. Because when they, if you play music, they can't post their crap. Crap. Oh. They can't post their shit on YouTube, because YouTube, you can't play music on YouTube. It's a copyright issue. So if I'm that cop, I, Jesus Christ, I am cranking the music when this idiot stick is talking to me. <laughs> you, you got to do it. Can you do it, please, will you? Why is it when the, I don't know if I should say that, but the wife goes away for a night, but I mean, I got. I got 17 messages already. Like, why? I know what the kids look like. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know I know what they look like. I've been with them for a long time. A lot of years. Here's the thing. Police are smarter than them. They know they are. Like, police actually are smarter than these idiots, these wingnuts. So they, they don't take it personally. It doesn't bug them. And this cop is talking to them like... Like, he, he's got one over on them. He, he's smarter. But what would be genius if he was to crank his radio right now? Because then they can't post their shit. You guys probably aren't interested in this, but I used to work at Duncan Detachment. And so I got a heart for Duncan. And this nutcase is in Duncan. And he comes across a cop that I liked. This is what happens in Duncan, okay? Yeah. Nope. Okay. You see the do not enter sign? Uh, for cars? That's a traffic sign, is it not? Sorry, that was a question, is it not? You're not gonna answer? No, he's busy, you dummy. Oh, that's what I thought. How you doing, sir? Good, you? Okay, this guy. <laughs> this guy is... I like this cop. I like him. Not not that way, but he is a cool dude. I don't even I don't even know how to give people compliments, but if I had a party, I'd probably invite him over. And I like how he deals with this guy. Watch us. But wouldn't it be kick ass if he came out with a ghetto blaster on his shoulder? That's that would be genius. I would love that would go viral. Speaking of viral, no, I won't. I won't talk about it. Good. What can I help you with today? I'm just wondering why you guys are so afraid of cameras. Yeah, so can I help you with anything at this time? Yeah, sure. You can ask, answer some questions. Who was the officer who came out and talked to me earlier? Why don't you come inside and we can talk about it. I'm going to take a statement from you. <laughs> See, I love that. I'm going to take a statement from you. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's saying. He's He knows that idiot stick isn't going to come in for a statement. So it's a perfect thing to say. Just to get this over and done with. Go, hey, yeah, hey, fine. You got you got a complaint? Let's go inside and take a statement. No, because he has to turn off his video camera. And he, Wingnut knows that. He knows that he has to turn off his video camera. And it's just going to waste his time by giving this police officer a statement. And I love how the police... That's what I would have said. I used to always say that. When people would just kind of complain, I'd be like... Uh, they would phone me up. It'd be like three in the morning. My neighbor's doing this. My neighbor's doing that. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, come on down. I'll take a statement from you because that's where you start. You start from at step one. And the moment you say, come on down, I'll take a statement from you. Well, that's work for them. They don't want to do that. Do you know how many files I concluded by saying exactly what that cop said? Oh, I'll take a statement from you. We'll go inside. We'll take a statement. No, they don't want to do that. They want it to be easy. I can take a statement from you. 
uh, that's not what I want to do. I okay. asked a simple question. What, what was his name? Okay. Well, we can come inside and talk about it. If he has some concerns, I'd be happy to take a statement from you, okay? Okay. I just Who ask that you leave at this time, okay? Then if you have no business here, you know, you I do make have a report, business here. you have any concerns, then I ask that you I'm, leave. I have okay? business. You guys are usually wearing body cameras. I see you don't have one, but... Oh, you dummy. RCMP don't have body cameras, you idiot. See, do you see the intelligence of these people? Can I help you with anything else? No. No? Okay. I'm just gonna... Okay, well, can I help you with anything? Yeah, I already told you. You can get the police officer's name who came out here and... If you want to come inside and make a report or a complaint, I'd be happy to help you, okay? That's the only way you're gonna help me? You can't just say it? You can't just say no. his name? Go inside, only if I write room, it down. No, I can write it down. <laughs> you can write it down too. for me? Well, can you do that? I have to make a statement to get the name of the officer who talked to me earlier. Absolutely. So if you want to make a complaint, you want to come inside, I'll be happy to have a conversation with you, okay? If I, if I want to make a complaint? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll come in and make a complaint. Sure. Okay. All right, come inside. Okay. Please, thank you. you can turn your camera off. We have no camera, no cell phone. Oh, well, then that's not going to happen, no. Okay. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. You know he's wound right up. He just wants to... Oh. He wants to do something to him, and he's waiting for it. You know, these idiots, they, they, they goat you. They, they want you to arrest them. They want you to break some kind of rule. That's what they want. That's, they want confrontation. And this, <laughs> this guy is just like, just please come at me. Do some, touch me. Then I can touch you back. Okay. Then I think we're done here, unless you have anything else. No, I, I just wanted to confirm that you guys are going to violate my rights. Thank you. Thank you? <laughs> he thanks me for that. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Don't violate anybody else's rights. Yep. I want that guy on my watch if I had a watch. Guys, I swear to God, please get a ghetto blaster. Put a put a bunch of double D's in that baby. Double D's? And I know you have a ghetto blaster, okay? You're cops. Guaranteed you have a ghetto blaster in your garage. Bring it to work. If you do this, if you play the music, they can't post this shit. And it's gonna, it's gonna make my day. And it's gonna make your video go viral. And who if you send it to me. I will give you free gifts. I swear to God, I will. If that cop in Duncan would have came outside with a ghetto blaster on his shoulder, like, how can you get in trouble for that? Well, I like music. You know what I mean? I like music. I like listening to music. I, although my old inspector, he would call it discourteous conduct, guaranteed. Well, it's Clint. It's being discourteous. We can't, uh, you're held to a higher standard. No, no, no. You're allowed to listen to music when they come around. Put on your music. Your phone's not enough. Make it loud. Bring a get up blaster. You guys are fucking goofy. <coughs> it does. You, you know, you, you grow up and fucking feel cool. Do you like feel proud of yourself what you do every day? Cause like, you know, you didn't get, you you got no chicks. You fucking sleep in a bed with a chick last night? No, dude. You're a nerd. You are like this song. Yeah. I'll be right with you. You think I did? I'll answer that question, bro. You stupid dummy. You fucking are a loser. Fucking tab. You're just another bro. number You're on number, the list, bro. bud. You're a fucking nerd, bro. <laughs> just, the you ever, can you even grow facial hair, you little baby? Bad bone. If you guys do this, I will give you presents. I swear to God, I will give you presents. Play some meatloaf. The only reason I played meatloaf was because that's the only cassette tape I had. And I used to love two out of three, ain't bad, you know what I mean? But do it, do it. It's gold, do it. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. You gotta, you... They're gonna lose their minds and it's gonna be funny. You gotta have some fun at work. I, always, I had a boss that told me that. If you're not having fun, then maybe you should quit. But you do. You got to have fun. You got to have fun at work. And 
I hope it's Duncan that does it. Like if that cop, that cool cop would have came out of the office, hopped in a car, <laughs> rolled down the window, and then listened to what he had to say, and then just cranked ACDC, and the guy would have been like, oh, yeah. You can't play music. Oh, well, yeah, I can. Why are you playing music? Because I like the song. Music is fun. It's beautiful. It's a good thing. And hopefully you don't have a dipshit boss, right? And Duncan, you're held to a higher standard. What's discourteous? You're being discourteous to the wing nut. How are you discourteous to a wing nut? That's what I want to know. And why are we held to a higher standard? Why is that? That's an episode right there. This higher standard bullshit. Anyways, guys, I think that's all I want to talk about. Uh, subscribe to my channel. My God. I appreciate the 670 subscribers, but... You know what I mean? It's great. I want to say more things, but I want more people to listen. And that might be a bad way to look at it, but that's how I'm looking at it. And stay safe out there. Have a great night. It's the weekend. I'm going to my brother's house. I'm going to sleep in an empty bed. <laughs> an empty bed tonight. It's going to be sad. It's going to be a sad, a terrible situation. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. What up? I'm doing a vid. Oh, okay. What you oh, doing? I and I uh, jerked off a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay, well, Fallon's here, so I gotta go. You don't want to hear about my jerking off? No, she says hi. Oh, wow. First time in a year she said hi. Okay, bye. What are you doing? She just brought some white claws up. Me and her had a few nudes in the hot tub. We were in the pool and the hot tub. You guys are a little... Taking advantage of the facilities. I have a deck. We had robes on and everything. And now you have a I deck? Have a deck, so she came up for a cigarette. Not yet. You have a deck, did you say? Yeah. I got a room with a deck. That's nice. Well, mm -hmm. sounds like you're having a good time. Yeah, it's awesome. Maisie and Violet are super excited. Bellin said that... When they came in, it, they were like the clampets because her kids never stay in a hotel. So when they came in, they're like, oh, my God, in the entryway. What's a clampet? The movie. Hmm. I don't know it. Okay. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for Ew, dinner. Gross. People are going to think you're homeless. No, they're not going to think we're homeless. Okay, bye. Well, why'd you call? <laughs> because when... Oh, okay. See ya. Oh, goody. Holy shit. Yeah, they go. Maybe don't use a ghetto blaster. Are you kidding me? Oh.